Well, trying to avoid using pets as pawns when a couple splits up is one reason pet prenups are go growing in popularity. Jennifer Williams talked to experts about how to make sure that you spell things out ahead of time, just in case. If you get a pet with your significant other, what happens if there's a breakup or a divorce? Well, to ensure the situation doesn't get hairy, some couples are opting to create an agreement called a pet nup. Everyone comes in and they have the same plan, which is that one week I'll have it, I'll have the, the dog, and one week my spouse will have the dog, not realizing that this is the worst thing you could possibly do. When we have these, we call them pet nuptial agreements. According to divorce lawyer Sue Moss, they're getting more and more common. I mean, we've had these cases for a very long time. At first, we treated them like children, but now we really just treat them like property. But any time a family has a dog, it's an issue. And it's sometimes the most contentious. Issue. You know, you take the kids, but I want the dog. Moss says pets should follow the children, adding it's actually trickier for those who don't have kids. You don't want to be connected to that spouse for the next 13 years. So what we often do then is we'll have a, a, a custodial relationship for three years, and then we'll figure out who will at the end of the day take the pet. Relationship expert Lori Zaslow agrees, adding many young couples are opting for just a fur baby. If you have half custody, you should have half custody of the animals. So if there are children where the children go, but because so many millennials are not having kids and now just having animals, those things need to be established before getting married. No different than everything. Do you want kids? What about religion? Where do you want to live? I mean, an animal is a heartbeat. The pets, it's a very important thing. It's like your baby. And if you don't have a pet nuptial agreement? So if you bought or adopted or have a purchase agreement or an adoption agreement prior to the marriage and it's in one spouse's name, they get that pet. But the reality, living in New York, it is so expensive to have a pet you can usually cut a deal with your spouse at the end of the day. Whoever put in the most money would get the dog. Honestly, I let the dog pick. On the Upper East Side, Jennifer Williams, Fox 5 News. How would that work? <laughs> Throw some treats in your pocket. You haven't spoken with Riley, I take it. Yeah, no, no, Ryder, Ryder ain't going nowhere. Ryder, yes. Yeah, we don't have the paperwork, but we're on solid ground, knock wood. There we go. We I'll never tell give up you. Our rider.